Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to JFD Traders Tea Time with me, Darius Unchauskas. Today is the 18th of um, March 2020. So, yep, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to this uh, Wednesday's afternoon recorded session uh, where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, the usual stuff. Um, this is uh, because the recorded, recorded one is because we, due to certain circumstances right now which are happening with the coronavirus and uh, unfortunately that we don't have the capability right now to run the live or should I say I don't have the capability to run the live uh, uh, video so yep this is coming out in recorded uh, in recording so um, so yeah guys I hope uh, uh, for now you can stay put and stay with us and uh, just wait this one out and then everything will get back to normal again. So I've managed to fix the sound a little bit so I hope this is a little bit better um, than the, my previous videos uh, this week so yep uh, hopefully we can run uh, this one smoothly. So as always before we jump into the charts and a uh, quick mentioning of um, or should I say a quick read through of our uh, risk disclaimers so the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation should not be considered as such and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, so also just um, before we jump in, quick mentioning of our uh, JFD YouTube channel, to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. And of course, our JFD Bank website and specifically our JFD research page, which we update on a daily basis. So yep, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research page right there. Now then, uh, just before we jump into the charts, a quick refresh of what's happening here uh, in the world uh, regarding the coronavirus. Now, we've managed to surpass the uh, nice psychological beautiful number of 200,000. Uh, of course, um, uh, this is not good. Um, so this this situation is ongoing. The there are more uh, countries showing up slowly, although there were already. Um, a lot, but uh, just a few have been added here as well. So, um, so yeah, the the the, the total death number unfortunately is uh, it continues to rise. Uh, Italy is kind of is not far from picking up China uh, China's numbers. So China's level. So yep, um, again, not a very good situation here. And uh, and let me just jump into the markets here. And this is what I mean. The reaction we're seeing here today, uh, the, it continues to slide lower. I've talked about. Uh, um, I've talked about the DAX uh, recently and basically what I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on some of these le re uh, lower levels. Um, now, we continue to trade below this steep downside resistance line taken from the high of the 5th of March. Um, but what I was saying that um, in order to get f uh, comfortable with further declines, ideally we would like to see a drop uh, below this little area here around the 8,300 and... Uh, 55 mark um, just to show you what that level was in the past um, we need to scroll back here a little bit here so um, the 8,355 zone uh, is the lowest point of 2014. So basically, we would like to see a nice good drop below that uh, level and also below the low of yesterday, which is around the 8,255 mark. So again, for now, uh, it's not all is looking good here. I mean, it's getting closer to this lowest point of 2014, around the 8,355. Let's see if, if this index can continue drifting further south. Um, if, for example, it closes uh, somewhere around here, uh, somewhere around here, uh, maybe above the 8,355 today, then, um, well, um, keep your eyes on the cash index, because if the uh, US equities will continue drifting uh, south, then, uh, well, I mean, we could uh, see a nice opening uh, gap here to the downside tomorrow. So, uh, well, guys, again, it's not really an ideal market right now, but um, let's see what we can squeeze out of it. But looking at this, as I said, technically,
technically we can see that yes the mm, the price is getting closer to this 8,355 8, zone which is the lowest point of 2014 but if that gets broken keep your eyes on the the current low of uh, this week around the 8,255 but if that fails to withhold now this would confirm a forthcoming lower low and the next uh, target to consider is around the 8,097 uh, let me just show you what that level is um, that's basically um, the low here, the low of August 2013. So keep your eyes on that one. Uh, jumping into another index, which um, is uh, well now open. Um, or I uh, do apologize with the previous decks. I mean, the when I said that the the, the Nasdaq is, when the U.S. markets will open, the U.S. markets are already open. They're uh, already open like uh, almost uh, 12 minutes. So um, yep, uh, for now guys uh, for now uh, well it is kind of uh, they are drifting uh, they are drifting a little bit lower here although they have recovered but they've opened uh, to the downside and uh, looking at this picture here um, we can see that it's still but the price is still balancing around the uh, 6,994 mark so um, for now for now again we cannot really do much here and uh, we'll continue observing this key area of support around the 6994 and the 6937 zone the last one is the lowest point of june 2019 so in a way if we want to consider further declines we would like to see a drop below that area first before like i said aiming for lower levels again for now uh, that's it the, the index is here um we are still trading below this down downside resistance line taken from the high of the 20th of February. Uh, again, keep your eyes on this one. Even if we see a, a bit of a push higher here, uh, still anything below this uh, below this downside line, any kind of move higher below this downside line could still be seen as a temporary correction before another leg of selling. But for those who are more on the cautious side, you could just wait this one out and wait for a drop below the 6,937 zone, which is the lowest point of uh, June 2019. And then, yes, uh, target get further declines keep your eyes on this one very good very interesting developments here uh, we are at a very interesting spot so let's see if it can travel further south dxy finally finally hitting and overcoming that psychological 100 level we spoke about um, previously and um, basically after um, what I was looking when I was looking at this one pr recently this week um, I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this 90 98.71 territory because if we get a break above that then yes we could see this one traveling further north towards the 99.91 level which was the highest point of February uh, is the highest point of February uh, yesterday we saw the index uh, almost reaching this area but then retracing slightly lower but today we are seeing this explosion to the upside here and uh, well I mean it not only overcame this 99.91 level but also overcame that psychological 100 zone so uh, right now looking at this picture um, we need to go back into history and try to find a level here which could be met um, now for for now for now guys uh, yes we are going to be aiming for uh, for these levels here so uh, basically the highest point of March 2017 uh, which is roughly around the 102.26 zone again don't get me wrong we could see a test of the uh, the highest point of April uh, 2017 and that's a little bit lower around the 101.34 zone so this is a monthly chart you can see uh, the mm, the index is traveling higher right now so um, let's see if it, the first level here the highest point of April 2017 can be met and this level is around the 101.34 zone so keep your eyes on that one um, in case this suddenly starts reversing to the downside from the technical side um, to be honest we'll, what we need to see here is um, a nice good uh, drop below back below the 99.91 level and then yes we could consider a bit of downside for now uh for now it's it's really one-way traffic here uh so let's see if it actually can how far it can travel further north um and as i said for now we are targeting that 101 point um 101.34 level which is the highest point of april 2017 so keep your eyes on this one 
uh, Brent Oil. Now, very quickly on this, I've talked about uh, this commodity this morning, and uh, basically, um, it finally managed to reach and overcome the lowest point of 2016, guys. So, let me just zoom out here a little bit um, and show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, this 27.13 mark is, as, I, as I've pre previously mentioned, the lowest point of 2016. And as you can see, we're now trading below this. Now, the big question, can the daily candle stay below this level? If it can, well, I mean, we're looking at even lower levels uh, and uh, well, I mean, this could drift further south. Um, we'll be very careful and cautious around here because Again, uh, this is a difficult one, uh, we, although we are quite overstretched here to the downside, but as I said previously, the market is uh, is not in, in, in its usual state right now. So um, further declines are possible, especially if the daily candle closes below this 27.13 level. If we get, get a nice close above this, Maybe we could hope for a bit of a correction here back to the upside, but from now here, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this 31.30 level, which is the low of um, the low of last week, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check this very quickly. Yes, that's the low of last week. That's 31.30. This is where we, from where we could consider a bit of a, a bit of upside if the price travels back above it. For now. It's a bit of a difficult one here, and uh, let's see if it stays below this. And as I said, guys, stay safe, be very careful here. And if we stay below the, uh, if we close below this 1.20, uh, 27.13 level, then yes, um, there could be further declines. Not much, of course, but if we jump into a monthly chart on this one, you can see that well. It's a little bit difficult here, and I don't really have enough data here to support <laughs> any lower potential levels. In this case, we will just target the uh, nice psychological 25 barrier, and and we'll see how it performs around there. Uh, quick mentioning of US dollar against the Singapore dollar. I've mentioned this one uh, in in this morning video, and also yesterday. Basically, this is my one of my favorite gauges of the whole situation with the coronavirus. And as I've shown you previously, with the increased number that the coronavirus continues to, the spread continues to uh, accelerate. Um, the same story here with this pair, it continues to accelerate to the upside. It managed to overcome the yesterday's high. This morning we're, uh, when I was talking about this pair, we were still hanging around this 1.4325 territory. And as you can see now, we are uh, we have surpassed that and it's now 1.4435 zone, approximately around there. Now. Looking at the monthly chart, this is something that I also wanted to. Uh, what is what? Well, something also that I was showing to you guys. Um, th we are now sitting comfortably above this 200 EMA on the monthly chart. Um, again, uh, we are approaching this other key area of resistance. And let me just put this one on the chart. That's the high of the uh, the highest point of January. 2017, which is also not far from the highest point of December 2016. So uh, this level here is approximately around the 1.4545 number. Beautiful number. L keep your eyes on this one. Um, and but the most important, as is mentioned in my previous videos, keep your eyes on the monthly on monthly on this monthly candle because if it stays above this 200 EMA, uh, then well, I mean, further acceleration to the upside could be possible. But if it if it doesn't, if we see a reversal, a sharp reversal back below this 200 EMA, then, well, maybe we could go for a bit of correction. But as I said, for now, it's just one-way traffic, so it's just climbing higher. Uh, USD CAD, also something that I've uh, that I've mentioned this week, uh, this this morning and uh, basically what I was talking about was this level here um, the 1.4277 because what I was saying that if we get a push above that level then yes there could be a possible test of the 1.4325 zone or even going further north towards the 1.4432 zone um, and just let me show you those levels guys though I need to jump into a monthly chart on this one as you can see um, well, or actually probably no, we'll stay on the daily, Very, there we go, so um, these are the highs, and let me just scroll back here a little bit, these are uh, the highs of, um, first of all, uh, it's the high of the 26th, 26th of um, 
January 2016. And also that's the other one, the 1.44, 32 zone uh, is the high, or should I say it's the inside swing low of 18th of January. So um, let me just double check that very quickly because this is, keeps getting squeezed, guys. Um, so the 1.44, um, 32 is the low, of the uh, inside swing low of the 19th of January, uh, 2016. So basically, long story short, we are currently trading even above that, and the next potential target here is the highest point of J uh, January 2016, and that's roughly around the 1.46, 90 zone. Now, don't get me wrong, I doubt that we might reach this one straight away right now but we may get maybe a bit of a uh, a crawl back here but and then another push higher so yep keep your eyes on this one be very careful and uh yep let's see how this is going to play out and uh for us to maybe consider some downside um well now we will can, we can lift our uh this this level here from where we could consider a bit of downside it could be around the 1.4277 this high of yesterday now could be a nice area of support but if uh if it breaks then yes, it could in a way open the door towards these uh, lower levels here, towards this uh, short-term tentative upside support line taken from the low of the uh, 6th of March. Uh, GBP USD very quickly on this. Uh, so I've looked at this one this morning as well, and what I was saying that uh, we will be targeting this 1.1959 level, which is the lowest point of uh, September 2019. But if that gets broken, well, I mean, further declines are possible. And look at just just look at these declines. GBP uh, continues get to get hit, and now we are going into levels, basically um, the pre-Brexit levels. And so let me just quickly jump into a monthly chart on this one. So, um, no, now then, uh, yeah, basically <laughs> we are, we, this is the Brexit period here. Um, the, we have dropped below Brexit levels and now we're t almost going into, we're now going into levels last seen in 1985 guys. I, I mean, uh, is that, yep, around there, 1985. So basically, um, this is just uh, a disastrous move here for GBP USD. Don't get me wrong. Uh, looking at this monthly chart here, if by any chance this pair manages to drift back above the 1.19, uh, this level here, the lowest point of uh, September 2019, the 1.1959 zone, then maybe we could see a bit of a correction here back to the upside. But for now, it's just it's just uh, like I said, a tra terrible move here for uh, for GBP USD. It continues to depreciate, and uh, let's see how this is going to play out. Let's see, of course, if it can travel further south. The big question would be here: Could we actually eventually reach the lowest point of two uh, 1985, uh, which is approximately around the? Um, let me just put this one on the chart, and uh, the lowest point of 2000. Uh, sorry, 19, 1985 is approximately around the 1.0520 uh, mark. So, yep, uh, again. This is going to be very interesting to see. Of course, it's a very big path to make to go. Um, at some point, we will get a bit of correction, but for now, it's looking uh, terrible here. And uh, yep, uh, keep your eyes on this one. Of course, don't get me wrong. Some might see this as opportunity as an opportunity to uh, tr maybe quickly capture something on a retracement. Uh, yes, a retracement could happen, but again, will it happen today? Will it happen tomorrow? This is the problem for now. Uh, if we look at the four-hour chart, uh, it's see we can see that it's one just one-way traffic. So we need some sort of confirmation here, uh, a, po a potential con a reversal confirmation before we could examine some upside. Uh, and finally, Euro US. USD also taking a hit. Um, I talked about this level here this morning. What I was saying that uh, if we continue to get held by the 1.1054 territory, then we could see another round of selling. You can see that the dollar is the US dollar is accelerating, so this is pushing Euro USD heavily to the downside. It's dropping below the 1.0949 level, and and the next levels the next levels that I was saying that we will consider will be around here between the 1.0863 and the 1.0878. So previously, you can see that this was a nice area of support, which we had here in October, in the beginning of October in two, uh, 2019. Um, so now we're going to aim for that for that territory. We'll see how it performs around there. But for now, it, like I said, this is not really looking good here for 
um, for uh, the euro dollar for now this is the level these are the levels that we're aiming for for now be very careful guys with the upside we would need to see now and uh, now we would need to see a push above this uh, steep downside line taken from the high of the 9th of March and uh, I'll also push above the 1.10 uh, 54 zone here and only then we will aim for the upside but even so the upside might get limited near this uh, near the um, the upside support line here it could test it from underneath and then we'll uh, well we'll take it from there guys for now uh, it's a, we are aiming to the downside for now and uh, we're aiming for that lowest point of October uh, of 2019 and uh, that's roughly around the 1.0884 mark uh for now that's going to be our 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 target uh, or should i say excuse me the lowest point of october was around the 1.0878 zone so yep keep your eyes on that one okay guys i really hope you found it useful and uh thank you very much for sticking around and watching it till the end um thank you very much again i do apologize for uh not running this in live because again for now it do not have the capabilities to do so, uh, but um, hopefully, yes, guys, hopefully um, you will stick stick with me, um, and uh, I'll I'll happy I will be happy to see you in uh, in my videos uh, later on when they will, when they will eventually go live again. But for now, please stay patient and stay calm, and the most important, stay safe, guys. Thank you very much, and bye bye.